Hey guys, welcome to the final part of my horror movie book collection. Let's get straight into it with an illustrated survey horror movies. This is a great book right here. Uh, it's very little, but uh, it relies heavily on information more than pictures. Because there's like a picture on each page. Uh, I'll tell a lie. No, there isn't. Um, but it's got some great information. Great pictures and everything. Um, I mainly like the first half. That's a great picture right there. I mainly like the first half because it goes into like the silent films. Like with the... Is that the bat? Uh, no. I thought, I thought that was the bat. Um, but I like the first half because it focuses on the silent films. There's the, uh, the front cover right there. And uh, the back cover is that, so that's really good. Um, there's Metropolis. There's the Golem. Um, let's see if I can find it. There's a great picture in here of Lon Chaney in London after midnight. And there's all the makeup for Werewolf of London. But there's a great picture of Lon Chaney in London after midnight. Let's see if I can find it. Um, it's probably going to be, right, the, there's a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde from 1920, and The Man Who Laughs from 1928, so, um, there's Nosferatu right there, so, um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause it, and then I'm going to find that picture, so, st I'll be right back. Finally found it. Awesome picture there. Such a shame that we can't see that film. But, uh, yeah, it's lost forever. Oh, well. I mean, there was a remastered version for Turner Classic Movies. Uh, where they, like, restored all the pictures and put all the text back in. But we want the original, man. Oh, well. Uh, moving on to the amazing colossal book of horror trivia. This book right here is really good. Not only does it cover the like Universal Studios monsters and the classic Lon Chaney monsters, but it also covers uh, um, oh, I'm lost for words horror movies from the 80s, 70s, 60s, and just all the great horror movies. So uh, let's look through it. And it also goes through Night of the Living Dead as well. Um, yeah, it's just basically a trivia book. Here we go, Evil Dead. Um, yeah, there's a trivia on Evil Dead, Demons and Devils, Exorcist. It's a great book. If you're a horror fan like I am, definitely pick this book up. You can find it on eBay or Amazon for a fairly good price, I think. It's Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. Um, Phantom. Vincent Price. Um, yeah, you can find it, Psycho, for a good price. There's a Christopher Lee page. But it is a really good book. Uh, I highly recommend it if you love um, horror movies and uh, trivia. There's Lon Chaney. Great picture of him as Quasimodo there and uh, Eric the Phantom. But uh, yeah. Great book, great book. So, uh, that's actually this book is not available in the UK. I've just noticed. Um, well, I've noticed this uh, quite a while back, but uh, I forgot to say. Um, this book, you cannot buy it from a store in the UK. Um, I got this for eight pounds, and because um, it, it's a book from America, so I'm guessing because you know it says the fourteen dollars ninety five cents. So um, yeah, and it says Disney there, so that's a bit mysterious. But uh, I'm guessing you can't buy it in any store in the UK unless it's been ported from America into a UK store. That's how I was able to get it. But you can buy it from um, eBay or Amazon for a fairly good price. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, 
the amazing colossal book of horror trivia. Moving on to the next. Not really a book, but more so a comic. Uh, or a comic book. Um, Coppola's vampire epic photos and interviews. Dracula the Complete Vampire. This was released when Bram Stoker's um, Dracula was uh, in the works. Uh, making of Bram Stoker's Dracula, biggest vampire film ever. Nope, it isn't the biggest vampire film ever. It is that one right there, and probably one of the Hammer Christopher Lee films. But it was a good film. Bram Stoker's Dracula was a good film. Uh, you can like sign off for the other books as well. So let's have a look. Okay then. Now what I like about this as well is that it advertises Fangoria stuff as well. So you've got masks, a good picture of Dracula there. Um, I haven't read this, I've just looked at the pictures. Uh, but from what I gathered it goes into detail for Dracula obviously. In search for the real Dracula. I should really read that. The Batty Band Wagon. That's a good saying. The Batty Band Wagon. Dracula Rising. Yeah, you can sign off for all these masks. Dark Man. That's a really good film. I should uh, do a review on that. Swamp Thing. I haven't uh, seen the other Dark Man films. I really should. Tells you about the Spanish version of Dracula, which a lot of people say is better than the uh, Lugosi version. Nosferatu, there's uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula right there. Here's some interesting stuff. Figurines. Got some universal classics there, like uh, Invisible Man, Phantom of the Opera, Bride of Frankenstein, uh, Dracula himself there. And then you've got some movie stuff, like Batman, Robocop, Ed 209, and the Mole People. And we've got some superheroes, Wolverine, Doctor Doom, Dark Phoenix, uh, Captain America, Incredible Hulk. Got some uh, Silver Surfer there, Iron Man, Robocop 3, Terminator 2, figures, Spider-Man figures, everything, all that good stuff. So that's really good. And then we've got some pics from uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. Dracula's Widow. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, this is a really good book. Um, it's very good for pictures, I must say. Very, very good. Um, I mean, there's a lot of pictures in here that I've already seen. and You know, there's Monster Squad, if anyone interested. So, uh, that's Dracula. The Complete Vampire. Let's move on to the next. This is John Landis, Monsters in the Movies, 100 Years of Cinematic Nightmares. This book is... Wow. It's full of pictures and information, all that, everything you need to know of... Um, horror movies. It's got his iconic werewolf there from American Wolf in London. Turn it around on the spine, monsters in the movies. And on the back, uh, just information really. Um, so let's go ahead and flick through this beast. Great pictures there from great movies. Or great posters I should say, because it's not just the pictures. Um, let's just flick through this. Space monsters. Okay, let's find Alien then, while we're here. Let's find Alien. Let's find Alien while we're here. Paul, great movie. Not such a monster film. It's not even a monster film, it's a comedy film. But it's a great movie. Way! Uh, here we go. Alien, that's a great picture right there. I haven't seen that before. There we go. Uh, that's it for Eileen, really. Um, so let's flick through it. Double wear, um, double wears Parada, fucking hell. Um, Devil's Advocate, great film. 
Ghost Rider. Carry Exorcist right there. Toxic Avenger. Oh my god. It's even see it's even in here. Robocop. This is what happens to a bad guy when a big vat of liquid clearly labelled toxic waste is dumped onto him. Yeah, not just a minor thing in a film, a minor thing to do with either a monster or horror. It's in here. Just a very minor thing. It's in this book. It's in the book. Like that scene from Robocop where he gets the toxic waste onto him. That scene was minor. It was iconic. But it's in this book. Piranha Snakes. Rick Baker's even in the book. Uh, for doing his work in American Wharf in London. Monstrous Apes. Schlock should be in there too, because that was the John Landis film. Uh, Ray Harryhausen. Trolls. Gremlins. Uh, See, look, even... Uh, Tink, Tinkerbell from uh, Peter Pan. Not exactly a monster, but it's in here. Myths, legends, and fairy tales, they're in here. This book is amazing. Mummies, great picture. Actually, uh, looking at the picture, the orphanage, there was a book in my local bookshop in my town centre yesterday. Um... I forgot what it was called, but it was talking about modern horror movies, like Saw, Hostel, um, stuff like that. Modern horror movies. And I really wanted to pick it up, but it was 15 quid. And I was like, mm, I'll wait, I'll wait for that. But we've got ghosts here. This is good, the monster carry. Every uh, monster who has carried a girl on screen. Um, this is just great. We've even got Jason at the top there. I don't know if you can make him out. Um, there's Jason. That is Jason right there. Um, yeah, it's in the book. Zombies. It's in the book. Yay. Yay. Good film. See, Baron Samadio, I don't know why he's in the book. Yay. Um, Hammer, Frankenstein. Green Goblin's even in the book. Come on. Edward Scissorhands, I just saw. Um... Mad Scientists. Dog Soldiers, great film. Absolutely great film. A squad of British soldiers on a training mission in the Scottish Highlands has a nasty encounter with a family of werewolves in Neil Marshall's exciting action-packed horror movie. Yep, you got that right. And you've got Skinwalkers there, uh, which I haven't seen. The Monster Squad, I really do want to see that. Wolf... I haven't seen. I really want to see Wolf. I've got stills from American Wolf in London. Great pictures right there. There's a great picture of Henry Hall. Um, in Wolf of London. There's Cat People. And we've even got Michael Jackson right there in Thriller. And there's a thing that says, there's a little bio here, it says, Michael Jackson as a teenage werecat, strangling me on the set of Michael Jackson's Thriller. There it is. Right there. So, this has been John Lance's Monsters in the Movies, and I cannot stress this enough, it is one of the best horror movie books ever. I highly recommend it. Um... It is, it is just one of the best horror movie books ever. Uh, it's Christopher Lee right there. So, um, please get this if you get the chance. Um, you will not be disappointed by it. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, so, yeah. You get it off Amazon or eBay. Your choice. It's just fantastic. So, let's move on to the last um, three books that I've got to show you. Here's Cult Horror. Uh really good book it focuses more on information than it does um pictures but saying that it has some really good information in it 
Uh, there's Insidious right there. I think. Is that Insidious? Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. That's Insidious. Um, I'm not sure what that is. But it's got some really good pictures in here. This focuses more on uh, modern horror movies than it does uh, old horror movies. But um, I've got a good picture of The Exorcist there. Actually, no, I tell a lie. It does go like, obviously, you can see, like, you know, Nosferatu's in there, and that's old, old film. Um, and you've got Dracula there. So, yeah, it goes into good horror movies. You've got Zombieland, which is a piece of crap. Um, Dawn of the Dead, fantastic. It's Alive. There's a good picture of Stripe. Let's go back. Yay! Double Stripe. Double Stripe. Equals double trouble. That was lame. Um, there's the Howling. Wolfman. Frankenstein. Frankenstein's monster. The fly. Hey. Um, yeah, really, really good book. Mickey Myers. Uh, yeah, it's really good. Really good. Evil Dead 2, Fright Night, uh, so yeah, that's a cult gothic dreams cult horror, and there's the front with the descent, and on the back, the man of your dreams, um, so yeah, that's cult horror, so there's only two more, uh, two more books to show you, and uh, I'll show them in one video instead of splitting them into two, so uh, moving on to the next two, okay, the last two books that I'm going to show you, is 101 horror movies you must see before you die and movie monsters so let's take a look at movie monsters first good little book this uh freddy vs jason on the front there on the back just some information so let's open it up very little book you can just fit this in your bag or whatever uh it's got some great quotes as well there's jaws so I managed to read this book in a day. That's how short it was. Uh, it's got film facts. Uh, it tells you the director. It tells you taglines and everything. Like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Who will survive and what will be left of them. Great tagline. Hellraiser. Uh, what's this one? Cape Fear. Uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Yeah, there's gremlins again. Keeps pop Gremlins keeps popping up. There's a uh, Silent of the Lambs. Wolfman. Um, Blade Runner. Omen. Invisible Man. Birds. Jason and the Argonauts. Misery. Wizard of Oz, of course. Nosferatu. Symphony of Horror, Bride of Frankenstein, Batman, which I don't know why he's in there, because he's not really a monster, but um, I guess some people would you know consider it. Uh, the Mummy, a Alien, film fact. There have been all sorts of rumors surrounding the making of Alien, but the most infamous is the fact that no, none of the cast apart from John Hurt knew exactly what to expect while filming the moment when the alien literally bursts onto the scene. That is why the expression on the cast's blood splattered faces looks so authentic. Yeah, it's true. In space, no one can hear you scream. You got that right. That's a great picture. Quasimodo. Great book right here. And last but not least, 101 horror movies you must see before you die. And this is just a good little book as well. There's Hills of Eyes. Uh, yep, yeah, it's just a good little book. Jaws right there. Um, I could have sworn Alien was in here, but I guess not. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I like this because it, it, it shows you a poster. It shows you the poster of the film. Um, a director, producer, music, screenplay, cinematography, all that good stuff. And then it shows you a pic from the film and a quote. And I love that. And more information. 
But it's like, you have to see these films before you die. Uh, yeah, they're good uh, horror films in here. Yeah, you're not the living dead. Rosemary's Baby. One thing I hate about that film is the music. It's so annoying. That's all you ever hear. The Birds, great film. Just uh, flicking through this real quick. Eyes without a face. The Tingler. Fun fact about the Tingler. They um they use this thing in the cinema where it would like go in between the audience and it actually like made them think that the Tingler, like the creature, was in the cinema with them. Uh yeah. I thought that was pretty good. Uh we've got Dracula there, Christopher Lee, Horror of Dracula, Curse of Frankenstein. Wolfman, Bride of Frankenstein. So I like it because it starts off with like the old films like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Frankenstein, uh, M, Dracula, Phantom of the Opera, Nosferatu, The Golem, Cabernet of Dr. Caligari, which is one of the first horror films ever made. And then it goes later into like, you know, old, like the 80s, like Miracle Wealth in London, The Shining, Friday the 13th. Reanimator, uh, Jacob's Ladder, Silence of the Lambs, and just all those. Bram Stoker's Dracula right there. So it goes into uh, in depth. Um, but it's a really good book. Saw right there. When are they going to make Saw 8? Come on, make Saw 8. I think they should make Saw 10. And then just end it at 10. That's it. They've already done 7, so why can't they just make another 3? Uh, but there you go. Right there. So, thanks for watching uh, my horror movie book collection. I have now got to put all these back in my cupboard. And it is going to take quite a while. Because I've got those two right there. And I've got that lot there. So, um, and I've got this one. So, um, whoops, camera. What's wrong with the camera? Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos. I'll catch you later. Oh, this is knackered me out, this has.